What is good my lovely people? Welcome back to my channel. Today oh, I am so excited because I'm going to do a shop log shopping haul kind of video. I don't even know what to call it yet but I'm excited because whenever your girl goes shopping we go all out. Lately in Amsterdam they haven't had that many cool items and this time I finally got some cool things and I just want that to share with you girls because you know they're still available and they're really really nice. I went to Primark, Zara, H&M, um, Bijenkorf that's like a local warehouse in the Netherlands and I got really really nice stuff from clothing to skincare products to homey kind of things. I got a lot. So we're going to discuss all of them today and I will put the prices and everything next to it so you will know exactly what it costs and if you want to buy it too you can go get it. This video is not sponsored. It is actually never because I just buy these things for my own account. <laughs> yeah, when I go shopping but uh, you get the point. We're going to start with... So the first thing I got is this Kiehl's Cactus Flower Tibetan Ginseng Hydrating Mist. That's a title, goddamn. But I tried this out in the store and this was absolutely amazing. It's like a facial mist, which you can just put in your bag and you can just take it with you. It smells like so good. It's almost like when you go to a spa, you have this certain smell, right? In the saunas and everything, it smells like that. And I even tried it over my makeup in the store and it makes this absolutely flawless finish so um you can even use it as a, as a setting spray like the makeup pros that are watching right now are like yo nah you don't do that but yes i'm doing that and it actually really works so i love this one you spray it on my face during the day because i get a little dry when i do wear makeup and this really helps for that when i was younger i always went to primark because primark has these super cheap items and they have cool designs i really noticed that whenever you wash something from primark it either shrinks down a size or two or it just falls apart so I'm not really fond of the clothing of Primark, I'll be honest, because it's just really bad quality and even though it's super cheap, yeah, I don't really buy it anymore. We went to Primark. <laughs> so just to see what they had, I ended up with my best friend on the home department. And the home department though has some really, really cool stuff, really cool stuff. So the first thing I got is this makeup palette storage because I have a ton of makeup palettes in my makeup room and I never have any spot to store them. So that is this one and it's really, really handy. You can put at least two palettes on each tray. So I will unpack it for you. And the fun thing is I actually waited with unpacking until I made this video. So I was like looking at my bags and I was like, can I unpack it? I was like a kid in a candy store, but Jeremy said, no, you need to do your video first. And I was like, yeah, you're right. I know, I know. So it's a super, super simple thing and it's see-through, so it has no color in it, which basically means that you can put it anywhere with any color around it. You know, you don't really have to look at that and you can put your makeup palettes in here. So that's the first item we got. Then on that same department, this was actually from the makeup one, I found a beauty blender for literally three euro fifty. That's almost nothing and maybe you guys know this woman on social media, Jenna Frooms? Frumes. Frumes? Frumes. It's almost, it sounds Norwegian or Swedish or something. I don't know. I don't know her in person, but apparently she has her own collection with Primark. These beauty blenders, I thought, you know, I need new ones anyways. So, you know, comes in nice packaging. They're the original ones and they're only three euro 50. So I was sold. Then I found this fashion tape. I have so many events every time. And sometimes you have these dresses that go down, down, down. And like a boob can flop out at any time. We don't want that to happen. So then you can just stick your boob with a pad, little padding on the back and the clothing and the fabric onto your skin and it will stay there. I'll be honest, I don't know if this really works. It was only three euros. Knowing Primark, it's not that good of a quality, but I just wanted to try it. I'm just saying, I don't know if it really works. So, you know, with three euros, it was fine. 
we came to the lingerie department. Primark does have very good thongs, <laughs> just because they're super cheap. They're really nice designs and you know, I don't know, that combo goes very well. I just bought a few packets of these and these are very, very stretchable. I always have a size small in this. Also, these ones, I thought they were really cute with the lace and everything. And they're also like very, very stretchy. And then I went back to the home department and I got a Jersey Duvet cover set. I never thought myself buying a cover set at Primark. This thing costs 25 euros. It's not that much, but for Primark, it's pretty expensive. Literally feels like you're sleeping and laying on a jogging pants. I don't know, I, I, I loved it, I needed to have it. So when we went shopping for clothing, um, Bahar was telling me, my friend, um, was telling me, okay, today we are not going to wear crop tops. That was our rule because we always end up buying crop tops. Doesn't matter if it's summer, spring, winter, autumn, whatever, we always have crop tops. Since it is terrible, terrible weather in the Netherlands, it's super cold, it rains every day, it's super dark and uh, I'm just getting in this winter mood and who? Uh. To have something warm, you know? I always walk in t-shirts or crop tops or whatever whenever it is cold and I don't wanna get sick. So I finally got myself some sweaters that are actually pretty fashionable in the same time. So the first one is this, I got it at H&M and when you girls could feel this, oh, it's so, so soft. Now this one is in a size small. It is 24 euros and 99 cents. So it's pretty cheap and it is super stretchable. I don't know why, but whenever it gets to winter, this girl is done. I cannot deal with that. I just can't. So here we have the first sweater and I absolutely love it that these little sleeves are a little poofy. So it gives this really cool effect. And as you can see, they're like half sleeves until your elbow or something. And it is super, super comfortable. Trust me when I say that this is the softest sweater I have ever owned. Absolutely love this one. Call me boring, but I bought the same sweater with long sleeves and a little turtleneck. So I just couldn't leave this be like it's 30 euros. It has the same softness as the other one and i'm sold i am just sold oh look at this i feel like a polar bear <laughs> maybe now jeremy is gonna cuddle me all day he already does that but you know here we have it it's a really really cool sweater it actually comes a little bit above your hip bone my hip bone is here so it's you know a little higher than that super soft like i told you as you can see it has this little floof on it <laughs> little fluff <laughs> I always call it that and a little turtleneck of course, but I am in love with this H&M you've done a great job on this one. Oh Oh, who is she? I know that this is a little bit too much Just Try to think that you have something else underneath this it is almost Christmas time and I absolutely love glittery stuff. As you can see, it's really see-through. I wear an extra small of this one. This thing was only 10 euros. I think I would wear like a tiny um, black top underneath it. So this is covered in your tummy too, but you still have that sparkly effect. Like I said, now it's looking a little bit too much, but you get the point. And this thing was only 10 euros, so absolutely worth it. Then next item is very comfortable thing because girls, this is soft as freaking butter. I adore this and I love it that this sweater comes with a little longer sleeve. So whenever it's cold, you can just put it a little bit over your hands. I thought like maybe you can just put this in here so it becomes a little bit less baggy, but still the sweater is absolutely cute and yeah, like I said, I could live in this. I've done a pretty good job in taking care of my winter clothing, I think. Like, if you have any suggestions, by the way, of stores that sell, like, fashionable but still really cute, warm winter clothing for me, let me know in a comment right now because I suck at that. It's a really basic sweater, but I really like it. Let me just check. Okay, it was $19.99, so yeah, for just a sweater like this, perfect, right? 
Now moving on to the Zara items. I always manage to get a lot there, but this time I really hold back a little because you know, also this one, it's a really nice t-shirt, but it's still not winter. I really love the design of this and the angels, angel squat. Yeah, it is just a really basic t-shirt actually. It feels a little bit stretchy, not that much. Short sleeves and it's in a little bit of a gray, dark grayish color. You can wear this like this, maybe even make a knot in it and create like a crop top like that you can do whatever you want with it and that's what i love about these t-shirts now i do have to say zara their sizes yo zara if you're watching what the hell what the hell i don't get it because normally i always have a size small and at zara i always have a size medium sometimes even a large the fitting of those clothing items are so tight that i have no idea what kind of like models they use to like see whether it's good or not but it's not a european body nah -uh, it's not it was so so cute and i think you girls can guess why because i always love rhinestones and they're on the top to the bottom of this shirt and you can open them up you can wear it like this or just top it all the way up by the way i'm sorry that sometimes i look at my own youtube videos whenever i do reviews and my only vocabulary is cute fabulous nice cozy comfy did it say cute my vocabulary in english is not that broad and sometimes i'm annoyed by it because i don't really know how to like say certain things and i'm annoyed i'm just annoyed i don't know why like i'm being hard on myself but yeah I just wanted to put it out there. I do have to say, even though Zara is always a little bit more on the expensive side, this was 30 euros, but the clothing is really worth it. In comparison to a Primark or something, I do not feel that the clothing is even worth the three goddamn euros that you pay for it because it literally falls apart after a week or two or after you washed it, it shrinks. So that's really annoying. So Zara does offer quality, but it is a little bit more expensive. So just know that whenever you're shopping at them. Oh, and by the way, this shirt is a medium. And sometimes I really was doubting, but when I do this, it opens up just a tiny bit in the middle. So I'm like, <laughs> but when I was wearing a large, it was too big. So it was like an in-between thing, but I like it in this one. Oh, this is great. This is great. Like <sighs> I almost never buy black clothing because when you have cats, it is impossible. I tell you to not have cat hairs on it. <sighs> it's pretty relatable. I think to cat owners watching right now. Okay. I have a tiny dress. Oh, and this is so cute. Again, with the rhinestones on the front. And these are not buttons. These are just sewn on. On the side, there is this there's a zipper so you can actually get into the dress. But it has a con. This dress is not what it looks like. All right, so I have it on and like I said, here is the zipper so you can zip yourself in. It creates a little bit more of a smaller waist. And I thought this would be absolutely cute with high heels or you can even wear like a kind of a legging underneath it and wear it with high knee boots or something. So, you know, you can combine it with all kinds of things. It has these poofy, like pointy <laughs> shoulders. But yeah, like I said, this dress is not what it looks like. This is also medium, by the way. The normal sizes are very, very, very freaking small. When I was fitting this, I had to call my friend like, yo, help me. I cannot undress myself. I, I will show you. Here we go. Okay, so I did pull my pants on again because we do not want to have a peep show. Okay, opening this up. You know, normally you would just go like this and take it off, but my boobs are stuck. When I do this, my back is not working with me and I literally cannot take this. I cannot take it off. So I have to put this over it. And even then, oh my God. You know, you have the V in your back on the sides. Your back is wider. Oh, ow, it hurts. Can you now know why I needed help? taking this off oh my 
I'm not, I'm not overreacting. <laughs> this is a thing. Oh shit. Ah. In Dutch, we would say this is echt een bevalling. This is like giving birth. That I think is like the direct translation. But god damn it, it's super pretty. That is one of the things that you should know before buying this dress. <laughs> Okay, sweethearts, this was my shopping video and I got all of the items out of Amsterdam, by the way, but Zara and H&M and everything that I just mentioned is worldwide, so you are able to buy it wherever you live. I hope you enjoyed it a lot. Let me know in a comment what you thought of the video and if you have any suggestions, any improvements I can do to spice up my content or to make better quality, like, let me know. I always like to learn from you guys and I'm really trying my best to really level up my YouTube later. So let me know and of course don't forget to do a little thumbs up subscribe But you already know how that goes and I'll see you guys and girls in the next video. Bye guys Mwah.